速电波爆发是宇宙中一个非常极端和神秘的现象。二零二三年度邵逸夫天文学奖平均颁予邓肯·洛里莫、莫拉·麦克劳克林和马修·贝尔斯，以表彰他们发现快速电波爆发。这里是美国西弗吉尼亚州。So right now we're about 10 miles from Green Bay, West Virginia, and that is home to the Green Bay Telescope um, and a bunch of other telescopes actually on site at the Green Bay Observatory. We are in the National Radio Quiet Zone, where there is no cell service at all, so your phones will not work here. Any radio interference from things other than astronomical sources can be a real problem for our observations. 邵逸夫奖得奖者莫拉·麦克劳克林和邓肯·洛里莫搬到西弗吉尼亚州，在这里可以有更多时间使用绿提望远镜。We are going to climb up on the Green Bank Telescope.、Um, we'll go up this first elevator and over, and then we'll look over the hundred-meter dish, and then we'll get on a second elevator. We'll go straight up. 天文学家麦克劳克林和洛里莫二十多年前相识。当时，麦克劳克林还是研究生，而洛里莫是博士后研究员。He's very creative and fun to work with. He's also just a really kind, considerate person, and he's really funny. Has a lot of like similar interests. She's very funny. She's she's a very good storyteller. She just loves being outside and trying new things. And we had this common interest of science and, and astronomy that you know that keep us together. 这对夫妻档发现快速电波爆发。这种强烈的射电爆发只会维持千分之几秒，但释放相当于太阳数天辐射的能量。We are looking for signals from that are coming from across the universe, so fast radio bursts in our case,、uh, and so they're coming from outer space, and then they hit this dish behind us here. They bounce off the dish, and then they bounce off a secondary reflector up there. And then they hit one of these receivers、um, to the side here. In particular, we use this big one here to、uh, search for fast radio bursts. The signals then go down from that receiver over to the control room. 西弗吉尼亚州的绿提望远镜是美国最大的射电望远镜。蝶形天线有两个美式足球场那么大。绿提望远镜和其他望远镜收集到的数据，协助科学家发现超过七百个快速电波爆发。不过，科学界最初不相信存在快速电波爆发。So this is our file. I think that's even. 洛里莫来自英国达勒姆郡。When I was about 18,、uh, I had the chance to use a telescope for the first time, and so I remember our physics teacher gave us the keys to this telescope, and you know, it was me and a few other boys, and we went out and we looked at a lunar eclipse. And、uh, yeah, I was kind of hooked ever since then. 他在卡迪夫大学修读天体物理学，再在曼彻斯特大学获得博士学位。他先后在德国马克思普朗克射电天文学研究所和波多黎各的阿雷西博天文台担任博士后研究员。The signal was so bright. 麦克劳克林来自美国宾夕法尼亚州。In high school, Stephen Hawking's A Brief History of Time came out, and I read that book, which talked all about general relativity and black holes and neutron stars. And I just became really fascinated with astronomy. He was in Pennsylvania State University, studying astronomy and fast radio waves, and later in Connecticut State University, he got a PhD. When he was writing his paper on the Alexi Bohr Observatory, he met Loli Mo. They later worked together in England's Dorset and Devon Observatory. Loli Mo is beautiful. Oh, it is. 二零零六年，他们加入西弗吉尼亚大学，成立了一个天体物理学团队，与学生展开研究计划。他们使用的电脑程式是麦克劳克林当年做研究生时的研发，用来寻找来自太空的电波脉冲。The original motivation for this code that we developed was to detect pulses from pulsars in other galaxies. These giant pulsing pulsars have occasional, very, very bright pulses. So you would hear boom, 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 boom. This is a time series with a single bright burst in it, 
And what the code does is it calculates the level of the noise, right? So it would look at the level of this off pulse noise. And let's call that sigma. And the level that we set when we did this search, we said this is five times the level of the noise. So we can call this five sigma. And are there any pulses that are brighter than that level? 洛里莫的学生阿什使用这个程式分析一个射电望远镜的旧测量数据，发现了一些不寻常的东西。So we were immediately drawn to this source here, which is way up the chart, which means it's really far away. The other thing about this source is that it's we've marked it here as with large circles, which also means it's very bright. So this is what really got us interested. 他们在二零零七年发表开创性研究论文，描述发现了首个快速电波爆发。这次爆发被称为洛里莫爆发，其讯号在大约三十亿年前离开所在的星系，穿越宇宙到达地球。不过，科学界当时不是所有人都相信发现了新的天文现象。A lot of excitement, um, but also a lot of skepticism, as you would expect from scientists. People were saying, "No, that that's just clearly can't be real. It must be some something in, in instrumental origin in, in your data." And I found so many bursts, but it turns out they were coming from microwave ovens at Parkes telescopes. So it looked like for a while the Lorimer burst might be some kind of you know microwave phenomenon. From people heating up their lunch. 就连麦克劳克林也开始质疑洛里莫爆发。We looked through a lot of other data, looking for similar signals, and we didn't find any. So I actually did publish a paper. Maybe these things aren't real, you know, because it was very unusual that we didn't find another one in all of the sky we searched with this same algorithm. I certainly did have doubts from time to time, but you know, I deep down. My gut feeling was that this is something new, and we shouldn't we shouldn't waste this opportunity. 直到二零一三年左右，科学界逐渐相信存在快速电波爆发。The final thing that convinced us, what really convinced me, was when we actually started finding them with other telescopes, like the Arecibo Observatory in Puerto Rico, like the Green Bank Telescope. So once we started seeing them with lots of different properties. Lots of different telescopes. Then we knew for sure that these were real objects, real sources. Amazingly cool, because say you detect an FRB like in a beam with 19. Michael Lockerlin, 目前担任系主任，而洛里莫担任研究副院长。他们继续研究快速电波爆发。Fast radio bursts has just taken astronomy by storm. It's now this leading field of it by itself in astronomy. Um, it touches on cosmology and fundamental physics, and you know, nuclear matter studies of nuclear matter and new phenomena. It's still a paper. And to this day, Duncan and Mora, to a lesser extent, but still Mora, are leaders of the field. Um, pretty much, if you want to know anything about an FRB, you would ask Duncan. Um, and so, it's a rapidly changing field because it's so new. 大约二十年前，厄尔西梅聘请了洛里莫和麦克劳克林。当时他们是射电天文学的生力军。大学更因为他们将学系名称改为物理及天文学系。Well, I mean, their impact, whether it's in pulsar timing or fast, fast radio bursts or just the entire spectrum of work they've done, I mean, it's it's really led the world in radio astronomy. We're observing FRBs right now, and we're using these uh, the data that we're collecting to develop new algorithms to to learn how to search for FRBs more efficiently. So we're using artificial intelligence techniques to to scour the data. It's an ongoing adventure. A lot of my time right now is also being devoted to a project called Nanograv. Nanograph stands for the North American Nanohertz Observatory for Gravitational Waves, and this is a collaboration where we're using high-precision timing of radio pulsars to look for very tiny perturbations in the arrival times of pulses from these pulsars due to low-frequency ripples in space-time called gravitational waves. 除了忙于工作，两夫妇还要照顾三个儿子。
他们住在摩根敦一栋建于上世纪二十年代的旧屋。小儿子欧文说：“爸爸妈妈不只是科学家这么简单。Uh, ”Yeah, he's pretty cool.、Uh, he likes to play、um, music. She also likes to play music. She's been in a couple、uh, groups and things, just like my dad. They're both very smart. 两夫妇最近庆祝他们结婚二十周年。We immediately clicked, you know, not only as a couple, but found a way to work together and have common projects. Both of us love kids. As each one came along, they just enriched our lives、uh, in、uh, in different ways. So a year from now, our oldest son, you know, will likely be off to college. So the house is going to get a little quieter, and and we're, you know, we're just sort of looking at, you know, what what opportunities that will that will give us. 下一节我们会去澳洲了解马修贝尔斯的研究。Just really nice to win it with a former student,、um, and especially one that he used to get on so well with. I find that getting on my bike and riding away from technology and through forests and so on is very good for my mental health, and it's also good for my physical health to just stay fit. 他在澳洲阿德莱德长大，从小对外太空很有兴趣。We had the moon landing、uh, when I was six years old, and that was a really big thing at the time. We actually bought a television set so that we could watch the moon landing live. And I remember my mother coming and grabbing me and sitting me down and saying, "They're about to take a step on the moon. You know, come and watch it." He loves math and science. In school, his teachers gave him a nickname, which was "Teacher Professor." Around year six or seven, the teacher actually used to get me to occasionally set the math test for the class. I think I used to make them quite hard. I don't think that made me very popular with my my fellow students. But I, I just had a natural affinity for mathematics and really enjoyed it. Bears 在阿德莱德大学取得理学学士学位，再在澳洲国立大学获得天文学博士学位。九十年代，他在英国的卓瑞尔河岸天文台担任博士后研究员，在那里认识了共同获得本届邵逸夫奖的邓肯·洛里莫。He came and started his master's thesis with me on pulsars, and we just got on like a house on fire. It was a a great relationship. He had a lot of energy about his approach to the work. He really loved the work we were doing together. 他们后来去了不同的地方发展。贝尔斯回到澳洲，洛里莫去了美国，但他们一直保持联系。贝尔斯加入斯威本理工大学，成立天体物理和超级计算中心。二零零七年，贝尔斯和洛里莫去了澳洲最大的射电望远镜——帕克斯天文台的穆里扬望远镜。And I just said to him, "Have you found anything interesting lately?" And he said, "Well, actually, I've got a source I don't quite understand.、Um, it had some unusual characteristics in that it seemed to be very bright." 洛里莫的学生使用麦克劳克林编写的程式分析帕克斯望远镜的旧测量数据，发现一个不寻常的讯号。So we made these plots here, which show the radio power as a function of time and frequency. This is a little cutout. Of just a third of a second of data from the telescope, and it shows us how much power there is. So, every about a third of a millisecond, we measure how much power is in the telescope, and we do that across these 96 radio stations. And we were shocked to see this amazing sweep across our our screens that just looks so perfect and so bright that we really couldn't believe it was real. 快速电波爆发是千分之几秒内的电波爆发，释放相当于太阳数天辐射的能量。
。首个被发现的快速电波爆发叫做洛里莫爆发，以邓肯·洛里莫命名。When I first saw that, I was quite amused. I thought, oh, that's nice for Duncan. But at that time, we still only had one, and it wasn't clear whether that was even real. And I thought, no,、oh, I hope this is going to work out. 有了首个发现后，贝尔斯回到帕克斯望远镜，寻找更多爆发。It was like looking at noise. I just sort of sat there night after night, hoping to discover another burst, but that didn't. 几年过去了，贝尔斯仍然找不到另一个快速电波爆发，心里开始有怀疑。And it actually brought up some emotions of when I was much younger, and I'd actually published a paper that we had to retract that was a mistake. So, oh God, maybe I'm in the wrong. Maybe I shouldn't be a scientist, or you know, maybe this has been a bit premature. And I remember discussing this with Duncan, and he was still convinced that it was real. 科学界也对发现洛里莫爆发抱怀疑态度。And at the time, there was actually a wager going on between one of the Dutch scientists and one of the Caltech scientists. There was a thousand-dollar bet that FRBs weren't weren't cosmological, as as it was described. 二零零八年，贝尔斯带领团队将帕克斯望远镜的数据记录系统从类比升级为数位。So our group builds these what's called digital backends for radio telescopes. They're a bit like a custom supercomputer that can analyze the data very quickly. Together with my colleagues from Germany, Italy, the UK, and Australia, we embarked on a, a digital survey of the entire southern sky. Was called the High Time Resolution Universe Survey, and we applied for thousands of hours at the Parkes Telescope. They in 2013 finally achieved a breakthrough. The upgrade of Parkes Long Range found four quick radio bursts. Then another radio burst was found. Bear was present in a meeting of the Parkes Long Range Group. A Swedish scientist spoke at the meeting. 说他在波多黎各的阿雷西博天文台发现一个爆发，与洛里莫爆发相似。I was absolutely elated. <laughs> I thought yes, <laughs> and、uh, I think I would really would have liked to have gone up and given her a hug because there had been so many years of waiting for somebody else to to find one. There was a、um, an issue that all of the fast radio bursts had been discovered at Parks. So I thought, oh, at last, you know, they're happening on both sides of the world. It's not just a local parks phenomenon, and that was incontrovertible proof that that they were real. Scientists have now found 700 what caused one, and that was a star called a magnetar. These are the most magnetic stars in the whole universe. And they seem to be so unstable that once every few years they have an explosion on their surface, which gives rise to not only a burst of radio waves but also a burst of X-rays. As for the rest of them, they could come from colliding neutron stars or black holes, and that's part of the excitement of the field, trying to work out exactly what causes them. It's a great unknown. The other fantastic thing is that you can use a fast radio burst as a probe of the universe. They're almost like an electron counter. So every time the fast radio go, burst goes past an electron, it gets a little delay, and we can use that delay to actually count how many electrons there are between us and where the fast radio burst came from. Australia's Perth University of Science professor Yao Dangdelang is also studying the quick radio burst phenomena. They're a very extreme、um, phenomena, and so if we can understand how they're produced, we can understand a bit better just how the universe is is put together. De Le 认识贝尔斯二十年，他赞扬贝尔斯开创了快速电波爆发的研究领域。Matthew's been at the forefront of continued technological advances at, at a number of different radio telescopes that have really contributed to expanding the the detected fast radio burst population. 贝尔斯现在是澳洲研究委员会引力波发现卓越中心主任，他带领团队探测由黑洞引起的引力波。The distance of closest approach to the sun actually changes. 他以培育新一代科学家为己任。Unfortunately, nobody at my high school really knew much about how you could become a scientist, and so I like to be able to give an opportunity to young kids to to learn about 
science and whether or not they become a scientist or not doesn't really worry me. It's more just understanding how you could potentially do that. Oh no, it's 24 inputs. 这位中学生从十二岁起就跟随贝尔斯做研究，他希望日后同样能够成为天文学家。I want to make big discoveries.、Um, I do want to eventually lead Australian research organisations just like he did.、Um, I often look up to him, so he's one of those people who's who cracks a joke,、um, who's willing to support young people. Hey, Luca. Do you want to leave? 贝尔斯的日常生活也离不开科学。他的女儿雷切尔说：“爸爸经常教孙子孙女认识太空。” Dad is very hands-on as a grandpa, and you can see his passion for STEM coming through with what he encourages the kids towards. Like he loves talking with my daughter about whether you can see the sun or the moon in the sky. 太太玛丽昂在大学读医科时很欣赏贝尔斯，更主动约会。不知不觉，四十年过去，他们已经有了四名子女和四个孙子孙女。玛丽昂对丈夫获颁少尉夫奖感到自豪。It's very exciting, especially as it was a discovery from quite a long time ago that took the international scientific community a while to、um, really accept and embrace. So I think it's just Really nice for him to have that recognition.